this is the C Play 2 Air. It's an adapter for your car which allows you to wirelessly add Apple CarPlay to your system. This is the adapter. As you can see, it's a pretty small, straightforward USB dongle. All you need to do is put this into the USB port of your car which allows you to connect to Apple CarPlay. And this will allow me to connect to Bluetooth via my iPhone 12 Pro and have that wirelessly connect onto my Range Rover Velar screen using Apple CarPlay. Also just note that at the bottom, you also have a USB port on the adapter itself. This is used for updating the firmware of the device as well and there's instructions on the back of the box on how to do that but i will cover that shortly in this video so let me go ahead and put this into the usb port of my car and you can see it will flash red on the screen once it's picked up the usb port it will automatically pop up with the option to display as you can see here I'm going to select Apple CarPlay and if you make sure you hit remember for this device this will always come up every time you put the USB adapter into your USB port but if you're planning to leave it in there then that's absolutely fine just select Apple CarPlay you then have to go into your phone now as you can see it's telling me what I need to connect to in my Bluetooth settings what I recommend is you disconnect from all other Bluetooth devices and make sure you're not connected to Wi-Fi as well so there's no interruptions so all I need to do is search for Land RFC40. As you can see, it's come here on my one, so I will select that in Bluetooth settings. It's now connected, and as you can see, my Bluetooth name has appeared. On the phone, it's asking me, confirm, use CarPlay. I will select that. And there we go, we have Apple CarPlay. I've got no wires attached to my phone. So now I can listen to music, I can use maps, and I can use messages. So I'm ready to go. So the next thing I wanna show you is I'm going to turn the car off completely and then show that this loads Apple CarPlay wirelessly without having to connect anything, without having to put the adapter back in, which is still in its place. So I'll leave my phone here. I will turn the car off. Okay, everything is off now. Let me go ahead and turn the car on. Imagine you're coming into the car for the first time. You turn it on. You turn on your phone, just so you unlock it. You don't need to have anything up. And all you need to do is select Apple CarPlay. I have no cables connected. And there you go, it's straight in. And you can see it's working absolutely fine. So even if I go to music, start playing some music from there. So you can see how quick and easy that was and this is such a great device if you don't want to have cables anywhere and another good thing about it is that you can separate out the charging with the Apple CarPlay. Before the single cable that I used it both charged my phone and used Apple CarPlay at the same time so if my phone is fully charged that wasn't the best scenario to have but nonetheless as you can see it's absolutely great. Just finally let me go ahead and quickly showcase to you guys how to update the firmware. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my iPhone USB cable into the adapter and now I need to basically go onto the browser on my phone so you can see Apple CarPlay has loaded again in my phone you've got the address that you need to access to the back of the box just enter that so I've entered the URL into the browser on my phone you can see there's a new version if I just scroll down there's an update button so while that updates we'll be able to get the new firmware onto the adapter and it could take a minute or less so now that everything is successful just unplug your cable and also unplug it from the adapter make sure you go back into bluetooth settings and reconnect to the same name of the carplay that you've previously connected to if at this point you're still unable to reconnect then all you can do is disconnect the adapter from the usb port connect it back in and you'll be able to connect it again directly on your screen as you can see here it's come up I'm connected from before and I am now ready to use so all I need to do is select Apple CarPlay and there you go that's how to update the firmware so that's it guys the link is down below of where you can purchase this it comes in just less than a hundred pounds I think this is an awesome little thing to have especially if you have the Apple CarPlay system installed in your car and to have the flexibility of being wireless I think it just goes perfect and I'm going to be using this as my go-to Apple CarPlay connection 
I've gone for a drive and it hasn't disconnected at any time. Just remember if you do experience any problems with this, it's always recommended to unplug it and reconnect it again from scratch. But other than that, so far I've had some really good experiences with it. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do really cool car accessory videos with gadgets like this, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you hit subscribe so you won't miss those ones. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.